Hey, welcome to Quick Bites, where we're bringing tech science and entertainment news quick, fast, and swiftly. My name is Evan, let's dive in. If you're watching this, you're probably trapped inside your house with nothing to do just like everyone else in the world. Thanks to the coronavirus, everyone across the globe is forced to just wait in sight in an attempt to prevent the spread of the virus. Thankfully, we live in the age of modern science, where countless people are working tirelessly to put an end to this. Vaccines are currently in the works, but unfortunately one for the coronavirus won't be available until mid-2021 at the earliest. However, there are all kinds of projects around the globe going on right now looking to find treatments to help fight the disease and slow the spread. One of which is a pharmaceutical company in London called HVivo, which is offering $4,000 to people to become infected with the common stains of the coronavirus family. These strains aren't exactly the same as the novel coronavirus, but close enough to safely test different vaccines and antiviral drugs that would help fight the new coronavirus. They are currently looking for 24 volunteers, who will each get paid 3,500 euros, which equates to 4,380 US dollars. If you're thinking lab testing sounds dangerous, just remember that these strains of the coronavirus have already been widespread and have been proven to cause only cold-like symptoms. There is a catch. Each participant will have to be quarantined for 14 days under close supervision in the lab's hospital-like facility, where each participant will have their own room with a TV and Wi-Fi. But this doesn't mean there will be a vaccine anytime soon. Even if an effective vaccine is created, it would have to enter clinical trials where they would find out the long-term effects of the vaccine. Essentially, researchers will have to follow test subjects around for up to a year in order to find out the long-term effects the vaccine may have and if it actually works that well in the long run. This is why it takes so long. In 2003, during the SARS outbreak, by the time a vaccine for that was created, the disease had already run its course and was practically irrelevant. So right now, the goal is to just find effective treatments to lower the lethality rate and reduce the spread as much as possible. While this is all happening, why don't you throw on some pajamas, cuddle up with your unnecessary oversupply of toilet paper, and watch some old quick bite reruns. Let us know your thoughts of COVID-19 treatments and vaccines in the comments below.